Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 64. Now I want to show you something before we do anything. Yeah, here's the map of the island. Remember, we're inside the lake. This lake that goes all the way down to near Carden Forest. And this is relabeled where all the subgates are. Now, we're on an island in the middle of a lake on Cadillac's Island. So this is an island with an island. Cue your Inception music here. Yeah, so anyway, the last time we were attacked by the bugs. Mega Man, let's get started. Surprise? I upgraded the support equipment for the boat. I should be able to access your spotter from here too. Oh, well, that's nice, Roll. It's always great when we get more support. Anyway. The bonds attacked us at sea. Well, not really sea. But, like, I keep getting mixed up thing. thanks to the too much time with Star Fox 64. In my lifetime? But, yeah, they're out for a vengeance. They're no longer just going straight for the treasure. They're going straight to attacking us. So who knows when they'll strike next. So now they're a real threat for us to deal with, not just the island. But enough about that. In the last subgate, we found a yellow refractor. I was using the power of the boat to get here. But I wonder what could be in this ruins. Oh yeah, and if you notice how I'm instantly grabbing everything up, that's the power of the vacuum arm. Which, as a while back, I showed you is fully upgraded. Which means it can grab things from almost anywhere in the room. And in addition to that, if it maxed out completely, it adds infinite energy, as well as... What was it called? Oh yeah. You get everything sucked here instantly. Now those old hover jets we got, they're gonna be used in conjunction with the roller board that we found in the other car in the subgate. Now these crab weaver bots treat just like the ones we found in the regular birds. Just keep attacking them. Like that. And you want them to be flipped over, like because you can hit them for some damage, but they'll just flip back over and continue to attack. Now this ring is a very optional item, but you get to see some extra bits of dialogue and we don't want to go this way yet. First, let's head on over to the other hallway. It's twisting and turning. Yeah, I remember these guys. If not, here they are. Ow! That hurt. Well, they did in Carden, too. I also make these guys fun when they can just get stuck in the wall. Let's see. Yeah, I knew there was one there. But here's the a real good hole in the wall. Now there's another one we'll be encountering. That's even better. What did you find? From these readings, it looks like a starter key. That means there's probably a big refractor in here somewhere. Good luck. Now yeah, looks like we're going for another big one. Though, how much bigger can it get? We are still no closer to fixing the 
or flutter at all. But this one is actually a lot, lot shorter than the garden gate. Mega Man, what can you see up Fat. there? I'm not picking up anything on my monitor. I don't know. I've got a bad feeling about this. In fact, we're already about halfway done with it. Yeah, I suppose Cardin wasn't that long. But it did take a while to traverse. And I hear something moving. But I see none. Now that stomping is quite familiar. If you don't recognize it. But we'll be encountering what it belongs to soon enough. What is that sound? Anyway, what we really want to do is come up here. And already we have all three starter keys, but we're not done yet. There's a hole in the wall. Not a bad bit as any. Now, of all the places at the highest point here, it's the only place these Delph Reaver Buds can attack you. And I thought I had more maneuverability than, than this. They'll trap a nice Tadazeni. If you can avoid getting hit by them. Anywho, we're done with them. Let's continue forward. Now these alligator fish reaver bots, just leave alone. They'll come out and spit rings at you and it's very, very deadly. And here we are in another regular ruins again. And it looks a bit different than what you're used to. Another wall like this. I wonder what it's there for. Oh well. Here's a chest. Got the rapid striker. Anyway, but that's all we can do for now in this area. So let's go back to where we came. If I can find it. So, wonder where those ruins are coming from. Anyway, continue on to the store. One thing I really like about how these different subjects are is how they're all different themes. Like the first one had a sort of a forest Is there appeal to it. There? I'm not picking up anything on my radar. In this one, you can tell it. It's a very aquatic and tinted blue. If I'm reading this right, there's a huge refractor there. We should be able to repair the flutter with one that big. Oh boy. This is a red one, but it don't... I, oh yeah, never mind. It does look like it's bigger than the yellow one. It's like a big red ruby. Security devices? Be careful, Mega Man. I don't like the looks of this. Girl, what you talking about? They don't got no security in this ruins. That's how the junk man's able to look it up. 
But they do have strong beaver bots to counter to counter that. Unlike that first tower we were in. So it's fine. Let's just get on out of here and see what we can do with it. Mega Man, I'm picking up a reaver bot signal. It came out of nowhere. It's a big one. The readings are going off the scale. <laughs> Oh, screw you. Just had to lead us into a false sense of security like that. Okay, first, let's get some extra range on here. Let's see what would be the good one. Buster unit. Yeah, this guy can be a real pain in the ass. Especially if you don't have the jump springs. But. He's got a real simple strategy so far. It looks like you just damage. aim for the head. Keep it up, Mega Man. Now he has another move he does, I'm surprised he hasn't tried yet. Yeah, if he tries to tackle you when he's close, just do a card, you'll be fine. But keep away from him because he'll try to kick you away. Why is he doing that attack? That's odd. So now I don't get to show it all. Oh, maybe because a lot of times I'd stay still in attack. And he'd do it pretty often. Ah, there it is. When he jumps up, he'll do a shockwave. So, just be sure to jump when he lands and he'll do a-okay. It's okay, it's okay. One more hit's gonna get taken out. I'm not picking up any Reaverbot signals anywhere. It looks like you got him. Damn straight I got him. Yeah, that was a pretty clever trick, Capcom. I mean, they booby trap our first refractor. And then the other we just solve a puzzle to get. With no repercussions. And it looks like it's all gonna be safe. When we get this one. But then, oh wait, surprise boss battle! That was a real clever trick. And I don't see that done very often. But it keeps you wondering, because remember there's a closet subgate, so what's gonna be waiting for us there? And what kind of refractor is gonna be there? But more importantly, how the hell do we get there? I mean, not even the bonds can get up there with all their machines. Anyway, we're finished here, so let's head on out. You must be getting hungry, Mega Man. I made some apple pot pie. Are you up for a flight when you get back? I must tell you now, that pie is a lie, just like the cake. No sight or mention of that pie remains in the rest of the game. But it does add like a more personal touch. It makes these seem actu like actual human characters instead of people you're playing as in the game. Anywho. Actually, wait, where's Data? I want to heal up. Now, what can we do with this red refractor? Yes. Okay. 
okay, I'm fresh out of ideas. You know, what bothers me most is that while we're sitting here, he's out there digging up all sorts of stuff. <sighs> Calm down, Tebow. You're going to burst. He won't feed us to the treasure. No one will, as long as that big door is still locked. All we have to do is make sure we get rid of him before then. Right? So what if he digs up a few scraps here and there? He can keep that garbage. All we're after is whatever's behind the main gate. Right, Tebow? You know, you're absolutely right. Then that will be our new plan. We'll wait for him to open the main gate. We'll let him keep whatever he finds still there. He'll see. It'll be the Bonds who have the last laugh in this game. That's right! <laughs> Uh, don't you guys be breaking the fourth wall, too. So, great, now that guess they're trying to ambush us again. Hey, Mr. Wiley. What, you expect me to fall to some pirate subs? Thanks, but I probably won't need to. Any comments from you? Yeah, you are lucky. Quite lucky indeed. Now, to get out of here. And you? Hey, how do you know about her? Yeah. Okay. She didn't even wait for me to get out of the, of the boat. And you? You look like the same one. I'm not a man. I'm 14 years old. And actually, yes, Mega Man is 14. Well, wasn't that crazy? Got roughed up a little bit, but I was okay. Anyway, that'll be it for this part. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time, where we see what we can do with this red refractor. Until then, everybody.